Hi everyone. Uh, in part two of our introduction to the electric lap steel in the tuning of Open G, we're going to take a look at a couple riffs that can be used in many situations. Uh, this lesson is going to have a fair amount of bar movement in it. Um, so the licks aren't hard, but we are going to move around the neck a little bit. Now, we're also going to do this lesson with a beautiful old 1936 National Aluminum Steel. Fairly rare guitar. I was fortunate to find one here a while back, and it's uh, one of my favorite instruments. It's got a pretty cool sound to it. That's like 1936 technology right there, folks. Um, okay. So stay tuned. Uh, of course, also uh, with this lesson, I'll include a jam track at the end of the uh, tutorial for you to, to play along with. Uh, so settle in, uh, and we're going to have a good time with this lesson today. Before we get started, uh, we are in the tuning of Open G. Um, I'm going to forego the tuning procedure on this lesson. If you'd like to learn Open G, uh, it's in the very first lesson. Uh, so in the interest of saving time here for those that are following this series, go back to uh, lesson number one. Open G is right there, um, and you can tune your guitar uh, from there. So the first part of this uh, lesson and the riff number one, uh, I'll give that to you first. We're going to forego using thumbs and finger picks today. Uh, with this style of uh, slap steel, I tend to like to use the skin on my thumb and fingers. It's not quite so brash, uh, a little more of a softer tone, as opposed to the clicky sound with, uh, with thumb picks and finger picks, which are also nice just for this lesson. We're going to use our, our fingers. Um, so I'll give you the first part of the, the lick. And this lick, if you remember way, way back in the slide guitar series that we started a month or so ago, we discussed thumb rakes, which were that. So we're going to use a thumb rake from that first lesson. So again, if you're just tuning in on this one, you may want to go back and look at some of the other tutorials uh, to get to where we are today. So here's the first part of the lick. Sorry. Okay, so that's the lick. Now, let's break that down. I'm also going to break a few rules here today uh, with the spider technique, uh, because with this particular thumb rake, I like to use my thumb almost exclusively for it. So, we're going to start uh, on the fifth fret. Uh, the bar will be uh, in this position actually makes this a C but uh, it's G still so so it's gonna be a rake so remember and then pluck with your second finger on the high string so nice and slow so it's kind of a technique uh, a little weird a little difficult but if you studied the last lesson you should have it by now so first part of the lick Fifth fret, first string. We're going to slide up gently uh, on the second string to the sixth fret. Okay. And then the bar moves all the way down to the third fret, third string. So let's play that. Okay, one more time slowly. Okay, and then we'll finish that lick with the uh, bar on the third fret, third string, uh, and slide down to the second fret and then to open. Okay. So, so far we're here. simply end that part of the riff back on the first string fifth fret slide into it so it should be the octave with the G note still ringing
forget to also dampen the strings behind the bar as we talked about in the uh, first lesson. You know, don't forget that technique. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Now the second part of the riff um, has to do with mostly sliding on the first string. So I'll play it for you. So it goes, I'll play it one more time slowly. Break that down. Um, so we're going to start on the third fret first string. All right, and we're going to go, and it's going to be one sort of full slide up. So that will slide from the third fret to the fifth fret to the eighth fret. And when we get to the 8th fret, there's just a little dip. Okay. So you're only going to pluck the string one time and do all the sliding. And then we pluck it again. So we end the lick with the... It's basically starting on the 8th fret, 1st string, sliding down to the 7th fret, 1st string, and then back into the 8th fret on the 2nd string. Okay, reasonably simple. So the whole lick should sound like this. time real slow and then up to speed and then we end it very simply with a two string combination as we discussed in the first uh, lesson okay so that's just gonna be the fourth string and the third string at the third fret sliding down to the second fret not unlike the first part of the lick only this time we're using a two string combination plucking the fourth and the third string with our uh, thumb and second finger that's how I use it if you want to use your first finger on that third string that's probably better form I always have a bad habit of using my thumb and my second finger so then we end the entire lick all the way up to the 12th fret and it's going to be a three string combination the same one we did in the first lesson your your thumb on the on the fourth string your first finger on the third string and your second finger on the second string and we're going to slide into the 12th fret from the 11th okay so it'll be like this Almost like a Joe Walsh kind of lick. Real slow. Now one quick thing to, to look at here. When we slide down, it's almost like a pull off. You kind of pull, pull off with the bar to get that open sound with the two open strings. So back up there. Okay, let's play the whole lick. Let's slow it down. So there's a fair amount of bar movement there. The lick isn't that difficult, but you got to move around that fretboard quickly. So now, before we get to the jam track, let's just review the entire lick. So starting at the fifth fret. So there's a lot of movement there. 
Um, I'll play it slower one more time. time up to speed. Okay, so very, very simple lick, but a lot of bar of movement. Hopefully this will get you into the habit of easily moving throughout the fretboard. A little more of movement uh, than some of your average steel licks, but this is a good exercise to keep it simple and to get you used to running up and down uh, the neck. Okay, so stay tuned for the jam track and we'll go over these two licks right now. The jam track today is going to be fairly repetitive. Since the licks are short and I wanted to give you at least a minute of play time, it's going to roll a whole minute of, of just us playing this lick over and over and over. But it should give you enough time to not have to worry about going back and forth and learning how to do it again. So it's repetitive this time. I apologize for that, but it will give you a good uh, bed to learn what we've done here so far today. So here we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, electric lap steel lesson in the tuning of open G. We're going to have a whole bunch more as we go here. And if you're enjoying these tutorials, please consider uh, supporting me at patreon.com slash Dan Walsh. In the meantime, take care and we'll see you guys real soon.